it is. There's the choir. Hello, welcome back to another video. We're coming back to Bloodborne, of course, and we're going to be doing another song called The Orphan of Kos, I believe it's pronounced. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get we'll get straight into uh, the action in a second. Um, of course, we've done some other Bloodborne tracks um, on the channel, so do make sure if you're into that and that's what you like, go click on the channel and check them out. Um, so what we'll do is we'll act to a bit of it, we'll go back and then we'll play with it, play through it and, uh, until we get to the end. Uh, before we do that, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel as well. I'd really appreciate that very, very much. But having said all of that, let's get straight into the reaction and let's react to the Orphan of Kos from Bloodborne. The Old Hunters in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Stop there because that's about to change, I think. Um, so okay, so that's a very interesting start. So, we've had uh, in the last couple of songs, we had songs that just burst in and we're, we're straight into the action. This is definitely a slower burn to it, which is very interesting. Nice and slow, just lots of atmosphere building, very mystical in the way that it sounds. Uh, let's go over it, let's go over it. So these high sopranos here, which is obviously very kind of ghostly sounding, kind of supernatural, with these strings underneath just humming. And you can kind of hear some, like, again, a little bit of reverb, a little bit of like hustling, it's kind of like wind and mist. And then that kind of that pulse there of the, the violin coming in and then kind of cutting out very, very quickly is kind of very tense. And we're having that again, that kind of violin kind of slow, kind of gradual build of volume. And then this very, very solemn and sad kind of um, string melody coming in. A little bit of percussion now. A little bit of a high kind of um, or percussion as well, like chiming. Some very mild horns. Got the melody line of the strings and the vocals kind of copying each other now, following each other. Okay, let's, let's go, let's go. Right, so that's going to build up and start again. So let's go back to about here and let's go over what we heard because there was a little bit more of that build towards it. Let's go just from about here. 
So yeah, we've got that vocal and that layering between the, the vocals and the strings. And now we've got that bit more of that hum underneath the strings cutting through there. Do, 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 to give it that presence. Now the horns are really cutting through, giving it that grander sort of sound. More, again, more presence. And I like this because it kind of falls back away and softens. You've still got that very high uh, in the back of the mix. Um, the the strings as well kind of just slowly building up that in um, in pitch and volume. Um, it's very similar to some of the, the Dark Knight kind of motifs that they used. Um, particularly in the Joker's sort of scenes. Um, kind of just that raise of constant... Like raising that boiling point constantly, just very, very subtly. And again, just this hum. Again, and just that, that play on the strings, you can play it on the, uh, on the cellos, you can hear it, and you can hear the kind of the vibration of the bow on the strings and stuff. It's very, very cool. And then this, this kind of... As it builds into, that, again, that sorrowful mel melody. Oh, that's lovely. again that's it's very, yeah very in and out in and out all right let's get let's see what's gonna happen that real build of tension now Ooh, all right yes here we go okay okay Oh my god. Oh. Another little soften. We can't stop now, we'll go to the end. Oof. You know what, let's let actually stop there. Let's stop there and we'll do that last, just under a minute in a second. But we'll go back to where that all started, which was about here. And we'll go over that because that really kicked off and built up so much uh, presence um, in that last couple of minutes. Let's let's re-listen to that. So as I was saying uh, back then, that high kind of 
pitched on the on the violin there, just held constantly, held, 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 held. Really, kind of, very much a horror kind of um, feel to it with this very damning sounding um, lower strings underneath it, and they've got this the bow scrape as well, so it's giving that real like. You know, you know, it's something's about to happen, and then we go. It drops in, and now the pace is going, pace is going, pace is going, and it got the strings bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. So now you know you're in action. It's movement. Things are happening now. And there's little squeaks as well. There's little hits on the horns now. Real. Building. Oh yeah, here we go. And that drop. And this wonderful melody here. Dun, 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 dun. It's kind of like something that, uh, it's a melody line that when you would play where Dracula enters the room. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, this is the big bad boss that has just walked in now. This is it. Oh, poop. We need to deal with this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is the, it's the present, it's the dread, the sense of dread, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, it gives that sense of dread, like, what you're up against or what the situation you're in is going to be very, very tough. And then this swelling in here is so, so nice. There it is. There's the choir. <laughs> and it just elevates again. Wow. Woo! go back over that a little bit there too um we'll go back to about here i think um that was awesome again another fantastic drop into um just that kind of very again hellish sort of sound that these FromSoft um games managed to deliver so well um just to the the absolute tip top of dramatics uh, within the very last, um, well, few minutes of that song, really, it was very much a slow build. Uh, about th what was it? About three, about three and a half minutes was just atmosphere, tension building, and then it pays off right at the end. Um, brilliant! All right, let's listen to it. So again, we, we've got that strings raise the pitch. Got the horns doing the same thing as well. It's all raising in pitch, it's all grazing up, 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 up. It's, again, it's that boiling point. And that hit. A little bit of breath, and it's going to punch you in the face. It's what all the FromSoft songs do. Um, it has that... It builds up a bit, it rests, it has a... Yeah, well, no, it builds up a bit, and then it kind of softens a little. And then it kind of builds up a little again, again it has a rest, and then punches you in the face. That's a punch. Yeah. 
And again, it's the, the mix of sounds. We've got that um, uh, the horns done underneath, like the dun dun dun, um, and then a kind of simple melody of the higher kind of the higher voices and the strings as well. But it kind of the way that it blends is not really a lot of gap. So again, it gives it gives that feeling of relentlessness. It gives you a feeling that you're in, well, you're in a fight. You know, and I guess that's the point. Well, again, still that tension raise of the, the, the pitch. And the violins there. You hear just took over slightly. The lower ones just took over and got pushed slightly louder and then hits to the end. And that was Orphan of Kos from Bloodborne, um, The Old Hunters. And that was another fantastic track from Bloodborne. Um, wow. I mean, again, it, it's, it's got that no other i've not really heard any other soundtrack and we've listened to a few now on this channel um that's really got got that real effect of surprise um every sort of sort of time in terms of um each song having in that having a moment you know and each song does have their moment and this one does too and they they just built to it up very very well very very well it's very impressive stuff of course let me know what you thought of the awful of cost in the comment section below uh let me know what you thought the first time you heard it as well uh in the comment section below uh, of course let me know what you want next from bloodborne or from dark souls or from elden ring or from anything else let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, I appreciate you the most. Thank you very much. If you haven't liked the video already and subscribed, please do. Only about 5% of people are subscribed, so I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe. But having said all of that, thank you all so much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much. Goodbye.